<laughs> uh, hi, my name is Jordan Wax, and this is Tanya Nunez, and we are part of Lon Pinon from New Mexico, and we're here in the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress uh, to perform some music from the archive as part of Live in the Archive, uh, a series in which musicians perform music from field recordings that have inspired them. And uh, we've been here for a couple days researching and listening to to uh, music from old music from New Mexico that's new to us recordings that we we uh, of musicians that we never had a chance to meet and who, who passed away before our time and that have enabled us to to hear some of their music uh, so we're gonna play some some music from uh, archives that are part of the collections here as well as some other tunes that have uh, been a part of our repertoire the first tune we're gonna play is a northern New Mexican dance tune called an indita. This one's called the Indita de San Juan. de San Juan comes to us from Gregorio Ruiz from Pe Pecos, New Mexico. And inditas are dance songs. I think you mentioned that. Um, and they're often um, about relationships between um, native people and the Spanish that were in New Mexico, illustrating both the struggles and, and the peaceful interactions as well. So, uh, so the next we wanted to play is from uh, one of the archives that we had been able to access online and everyone can can access uh, through the internet. Uh, it's the Juan Birael collection, which was, was recordings made in southern Colorado and northern New Mexico in 1940. Um, and that's been a collection that's been really important to us because there's uh, a couple of really 
amazing musicians that were recorded uh, as part of that archive who were never otherwise recorded and whose uh, music we don't have any record of. And uh, really gives us a picture of, because it was made in 1940, that's a whole different generation. Since in New Mexico, a lot of, um, in other areas around the border, like Texas and around San Antonio, there's more presence of commercial uh, recording in in the 20s, 30s, somewhat, um, 40s. But that never really happened in, in New Mexico, so there are no other recordings from this time period. Uh, but luckily, Juan Birael made these, these recordings, and we get a, a chance to hear these musicians. Uh, the one we're going to play now is a Varsoviana, which is a, a genre of dance and tunes of Varsovian, which is really been popular in New Mexico for a long time and popular also in Mexico and Europe and musicians coming uh, west on the Santa Fe Trail also would have brought in Anglo traditions of this this dance and rhythm uh, but in New Mexico it, it was a whole genre of music nowadays that has kind of all collapsed into one tune which survives and is used for this dance but uh, in 1940 it was a whole genre of music that could be that fit for this dance. So this is a tune that we hadn't otherwise heard, although it's related to some of the others, and it's also in a kind of different meter, so it makes you do the dance in a in a different way. And this was played by uh, Nieves Anaya and his daughter Ernestina in, in Arroyo Hondo, New Mexico, in 1940. tune we're going to do is an entrega, entrega, entrega de los novios, and it's a, a, a tune that is often used for celebrations like weddings, and in this case, the wed a wedding, and um, let's see. <laughs> this one, it was played by a, another set of musicians that were recorded in the Juan Burel archive, which has been really inspiring to us, because uh, they also, it represents a, a generation of the music that we had never really had a chance to hear. Um, and it, that it had a really cool style of playing together. It was two brothers, Adelaido and Adolfo Chavez. Um, and one was playing the fiddle. The other, we can't really tell from the recordings if it was a banjo or a guitar. At times it sounds like both, and maybe he was changing and, and they didn't write down what it was. But it was a really interesting style that, that incorporated banjo techniques um, into the melody without 
without playing chords, so it's more more melodic interplay. Like, and it's really fun to try to recreate that with the, the upright bass and the violin, which that is something that kind of disappeared from the tradition in New Mexico. And a lot of people told us about, oh, my grandpa played the banjo or something like that, but but there were no commercial recordings made of, of that kind of music, so uh, we didn't get to, to hear. And an, another thing that makes these recordings meaningful is that we have learned a lot from a, a mentor of ours, Antonia Polaca, who actually just passed away this past weekend at 96 years of old, years of age. And uh, she was a huge influence on us and our understanding of this music and at, had an incredible repertoire that she shared with us. And uh, she had mentioned that she had an uncle named Adolfo Chavez, who lived in that area and would have been about that time, who, who you know, was a big part of her family's musical tradition and where a lot of her music came from. So we didn't have a chance when we were working on this, she, you know, she was not in a state of health to be able to verify if that was the, the, same, the same person. Um, but whether it is or not, it, it kind of represents for us um, the reality that in this kind of music we're doing, it's kind of a conversation between generations and whether or not you know what happened in that generation, what you're playing is totally built on their experience and, what th and their ideas and what they contributed and put into the music. So it's amazing to have the chance to listen back and hear uh, what Antonia was listening to when she was 12. And this is also a, a style that also basically disappeared from New Mexico. Most, most parts of the, of the, of, of northern New Mexico, this mode that the tune is played in dropped away and was re replaced by major keys, uh, except for a few isolated areas where they continued this tradition. Uh, so this represents, yeah, a tune and a style that uh, we would never have really heard. Dios su voluntad 
Al darle los buenos días y al saber cómo les va, quedarán estos desposados y haga Dios su voluntad. Now, this is uh, one not from the archive, just wanted to place something from an, another part of our repertoire. We also like to play music from uh, different regions of Mexico that we've had a chance to learn. And this is a, a tune from uh, that I had, I had the chance to learn from a Purepecha elder and musician, Don Pedro Dimas, who's a, a composer. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't write this tune. This is a very traditional tune in his community that is a, it's a courtship song, but is also played by... Uh, the kind of fiddle-driven bands that he's a part of. It's called Jose Finita, and it's in the Purepecha and language and as well as Spanish.
es posible, ay Dios eterno, quisiera morir. Porque en este mundo engañoso todo es un sueño, todo es una ilusión. Sweet.